when their husbands were blown up robbing a security van, Dolly, Linda, Shirley and Bella are now proceeding well with their plans to pull off the next big robbery their husbands had lined up. Dolly's late husband, Harry Rollins, kept notes, his ledgers, and the women are using these to plan the raid. The police are still keeping very close to the women, but so far have come up with nothing. Linda is enjoying her relationship with Carlos and has, so far, managed to keep it secret from Dolly. Choke myself with that. 
brother. Any chance of a drink? Would you want whiskey? Please. You're lucky. Have you got a fella, Shell? Of course I haven't. I never had none. Family. My mum put me in an orphanage when I was three. I've got a fella, sure. I'm not supposed to be seeing him. Dolly doesn't approve. He's not like Joe. I love Joe, of course I did. But he's different. Very gentle. He'd give me this. Look, it's gold. Solid gold. It's lovely. Heavy. He thinks a lot of me. What about you? Oh, I like him. He's got his own garage. Wants to be a racing driver. Costs a lot of money, though. Oh, my God. My God. It's got to be him. And Carlos? No. Jimmy Nunn. It's got to be Jimmy Nunn. Where is it? Where is it? Jimmy Nunn. He used to be a racing driver friend of Terry's. So? Well, he must have been the driver. Terry brought him in, a new man on their team. Well, that's why he's not mentioned in any of Harry's books. It was trying him out. He's the number four man. I'm sure of it. Don't say anything to Dolly. Well, I've got to tell her. No, not yet. Not until we're sure. Look, I won't do anything. I'll just find him. Then we'll tell Dolly, OK? OK. Excuse me, sir. Can I have a word? What is it? It's about the Rawlings case. Uh, you tell your governor I want a word with him about that. I can't have priority requests for vehicles to be checked out going through the wrong channels. The system is first come, first served, because it works. Yes, so that would be the vehicle used in the box of Davis hit and run. Well, DC Andrews... I don't care who's handling it. I've got C-Squad screaming at me because their reports have been delayed over some priority case. Now, this may come as a surprise to you, Fuller, but this station does not revolve around Detective Inspector George Resnick. Is Resnick out of his old office yet, Alice? Almost, sir. I've even got the bloody decorator screaming at me this morning. Tell him I want to see him, will you? Yes, sir. Oh, Alice. This morning. Yes, sir. Come in. Call for you. Thank you. Mrs. Rawlins speaking. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Linda. Yes, I'll try and get there. I said I'll try. Right. Sorry to disturb you, Mother. Bit of an emergency. I won't be able to stay for lunches. No need to apologise, Dorothy. Do you have a moment? Please sit down. I won't keep you. I just wanted the opportunity of thanking you personally. I'm sorry. The new children's lockers. It's really a wonderful donation. I must say, we were in desperate need of new ones. But please, you really must let us help with the delivery. No, that's all right. I've arranged everything. They'll be here by the end of the month. Well, I won't keep you. God bless you. Please feel free to use the phone at any time. Thank you. I will. Yeah. I'm just going down to the committee room. Everyone's waiting, sir. Tell them I'll be down shortly, will you? Yes, sir. Yeah, I uh, don't want it to look as if I'm telling tales out of school. It's all right. I understand. There's not much I can do about this right now, but uh, I'll certainly bear in mind what you've said. In fact, that's all I've got time for. Thank you, sir. Oh, well, um, I'll hang on to these. Mary Lees, is George Resnick in yet? I don't think so, sir. Well, when you see him, will you tell him I couldn't wait any longer? Yes, sir.
talk to you about Jimmy Nunn. Never heard of him. Jimmy Nunn? I think he was the fourth man. The one that did the disappearing act. Ex racing driver. What's this? His address. Thought you might want to suss him out, seeing as you're the boss. I think we'd better have a meet. I'll say when we have a meet. I've been doing a bit of detective work. You're not the only one. Why do you lie to me? What? The new boyfriend. Carlos Marino, isn't it? You told him anything about us? About what we're doing? Oh, him. <laughs> I'm not really seeing him. He's just that mechanic. You looked me right in the eye and told me you were seeing nobody. Why do you think I asked? I didn't think it was any of your business. Yes, it's sodding is. He works for Arnie Fisher. He's their wheels man. He's bent, Linda, in more ways than one. What? Do I have to spell it out here? He's Arnie Fisher's bum boy. He's been going straight from your bed into his. Oh, that's not true. I don't believe it. Boxer Davis told me. I didn't have time to find out his name. Boxer didn't last that long. You're going to have to get rid of him, Linda. What? You heard. Well, how? How do I do it? He's their wheels man, right? He must have a garage full of hot cars. Grass on him? Yeah. Use your mouth. It's big enough. And do it quick. And don't you ever lie to me again. Thanks for the coffee. Jimmy Nunn. I'll look into this. And you. You better do it tonight. The sooner you do it, the better.
Mercedes. Kid's having a field day. Looks like he lost a wind mirror. Do you hear what I said? Yeah, it's mine. Thank you. Any time. I hope you find him. What? Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for the, uh... Giving some boys down there, oh. She's got a right old temper, ain't she? You're not gonna believe this. She give me this. Fifty for your kid. I told you he just come in and hit me. I was, was dazed, see? Dazed in my head, so yeah. fuzzy. Yeah, yeah. Where'd you get the money for the booze? I ain't drunk. I've been hit over the head. All right, take her in. You can't take me in. I've told you everything I know. I, I can't remember things. Come on, love. Let's go. I don't believe you, All right, man. man. All right, all right, all right. Now, look. <laughs> Was this the man, eh? Was this the man, would it, Joe? No. I don't know him. Now, come on, have a proper look. Hello. Where did you say you were? What? Yes, Ben and Craig. Oi, oi, can't you do that outside? <laughs> Come on, love, you're not looking. Was this the man? I don't know. I told you and I told him. Where's he gone? Now don't you shout at me. I ain't. If this nice man come and asked to see Boxer and I showed him up and then the other one come later, the one that hit me. Were you drunk? No. I was tired. Tired. Well, I've been up and down them stairs all night. I said to this woman, I said... What woman? The one that rang. I, I said, he's but, gone out. Just a minute, look, what, a woman phoned for Boxer? I just told you. But did she phone before the first bloke arrived during the time he's here, after? What? When did she call? Twice. Oh, bloody hell. Listen, she ever mentioned anything about a woman calling? A telephone call for Boxer from a woman? No, sir. I want to go home. I want to go home. All right, darling, listen, you're home, all right? Now, listen, when did she call? Coronation Street was on. Yeah, yeah, what then? I can't remember. The boxer went out and she called again? Oh, I told you, she said I'd been cut off. Well, I... Where was Boxer? Well, he was out, wasn't he? Then why did you ask him of all about this? What listen, you Boxer's me? dead. All right, do you understand? He's dead. I don't remember nothing. Oh, please, God, I don't remember nothing. Listen, Fran. Now, come on, who did this to you, hey? Who heard Boxer? Now, you know who it was, don't you? Yes. Yes. And he said he'd come back. He'd even sent somebody to the hospital. <laughs> Listen, Fran, it was him, wasn't it? That was the man, wasn't it? No. Yeah, come on, look at it closely. Look, it was him, wasn't it? No. That was the man. No. Shut up! It was him, wasn't it? Come on, it was him! It was Tony, Tony Fisher! <laughs> Mum? Mum? Won't be a minute. Do you want a cup of tea? Mum, tea! No! Oh, typical. What are you doing? I just cleaned the place up. Oh, blimey! What's all this in Adolf? What do you think? I got it off the stall two up from mine. Head off the back of a lorry, I think. Not bad for a fiver, is it? Well, where are you going? I got a date. What, at this time? Well, I'm not going yet. I'm just trying the rig out on. Oh, what's this doing here? Ask your brother if you can find him. I haven't seen him in two days. When you can ask me. Well, what's he use it for? I wouldn't know. Well, I would, actually. That's why he hid it in there. Ask me. Who is it then? You know that couple in 83? She ran off with a brother in law. Well, helping him get over it, so to speak. It's got a few, Bob. They put glue in it. I caught him at it. Out of his head he was. Eyes all red. What? The punks. That set he's in with. Oh, look. They put glue in here, then they sniff it. <coughs> oh, God. Put it in the bin. Oh, look, I've just...
just dump me barnet. Look, I'm going to put some pins in and I'll be back. You can have a sherry, then you've got to go. Don't want you spoiling the odds. Business is done. There's eight grand here. That's more than you got last time. Roland said it would be the last time. He promised me, gave me his word he'd let me off a hook. Rawlins is dead. You still got paid. The route. Do you bring the details, Mr. Miller? Mr. Miller. How do I know I can trust you? I'm afraid you don't. I just work for the new people. But you don't know who they are. You can't even tell me their names. Jesus. I can't do it to her. I can't do it. My wife, she... How she found out? Mess.
my stuff's in there. Maybe see you tomorrow, eh? I don't know. I've got things to do, washing and stuff. Is something the matter with you? No, should there be? Well, you're just... I don't know. You didn't sleep too good, eh? What is it? You can tell me. It's nothing. Time of the month, you know. Look, on you go. I'll go and get some kip. OK. See you.
did, Linda. She said I had to do it. She said I had to phone the police and tell them about his garage. She said I wasn't to see him anymore. She said things about him. It worked for the fishers. But I didn't know. I didn't know what it was. Take it easy. Just take it easy. I was with him all night. Just looking at him.
it's final. Rawlins is dead, now you're burying George. I stand by what I've said, the case is closed. Oh, forget it. Just forget it, all right? Because I quit. You will have my resignation on your desk Monday morning, all right? Or better still, I'll stick the bloody thing up on your window! I should be sitting there, pal. Here it comes. I should be there ten years ago. Any grievances now on your side? Listen, I was accused. But I was bloody well proved to be innocent. But you bastards, you bastards, you're never living to live it down, do you? You get a good info! Now that bastard is going to raise his head again. And when he does, I hope it's right up your bloody nose! Now don't you kind of leave it up because now it's your case. Because that's what you've always wanted, isn't it? It's what you always bloody well wanted, George. George! On your desk! First thing in the morning! It's off. 
I've financed the lot of you up till now. Eight grand I paid out yesterday. You want to pay me back? Pay me back and do it on your own. I'm not asking you to like me, for Christ's sake. But I've had to trust you up till now, and if you can't trust me... Dolly, you're staying put. We're going to Rio. Only as long as it takes me to find somewhere to stash the gear and somewhere for Heidi. I've had the law looking for Harry's ledgers. I've had the villains on my back. You think they won't come sniffing around? Look a bit funny, won't it, if I'm not there? I'll be with you as soon as the heat's off, and I'll have money. We've got to get away with it first. If we do it, you better decide that now. I trust you. And you too. If we don't trust each other... All right, you'll... Dolly, you win. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Well, at least I know where I stand. Good night. I suppose that's it, then. You working? See you later, then. Ta-da, Shirley. You gonna lock up, Shirley? Shh. Shirley? Listen. You hear something? It's probably the dog. I could have sworn I heard... There. You hear it? Nah. Must be the trains. Who'd have believed it? <laughs> <laughs> 